uh, guys, if the like is the first thing kids know about me, that's all they'll care about. I want to make friends because they like me, not because they feel bad for me. Just take my advice. Lay low for a little while. What's homeschool like? It's basically a vanilla-scented prison. <laughs> <laughs> He's a legend. Gentlemen, great to see you all. Thanks, Dave. You too. Good to see you too. All right. Logan, I know I'm not the first to say this, but I have to say it because I just think you're amazing, and I cannot believe this is your screen debut. My goodness, <laughs> dude, you rock hardcore. <laughs> Thank you. Um, is it true that you uh, got to this role because of social media, I read, because of Instagram posts? I, I have to hear that story. Correct. So um, there was, uh, you guys put out a cast, like you... Uh, they put out a casting call on Instagram, and somebody uh, like asking if anybody knew like an amputee boy from what ten to twelve. Right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, and then um, somebody tagged me on the Instagram, like tagged me on the Instagram post, and my parents and I were like, "Huh, I wonder what this is." So then we contacted uh, you guys, and I auditioned for the role, and apparently they liked it. So I was, then I was in LA. <laughs> yeah, okay, everybody watching this right now, I want you to know, see, dreams can come true. I <laughs> love that story. I, that is awesome. Matt, you know, it, that's really, you know, if that isn't inspiring, and besides, you know, this particular story and this series, I don't know what is. What, what drew you to, to bring this to life? Uh, so for me, when uh, I mean the show is based on real life, right. Josh, uh, his life growing up and his memoirs about that. So for me, I, you know, I loved his personal story, and you know, I got to a point in my career I want to tell a story with greater depth to it, you know, great emotional uh, depth, uh, depth, and also something that potentially has a greater impact on the viewers. So, you know, the most interesting thing and something we talk about all the time is. What we really want to do with this character, Josh, is, you know, I think at first blush, a lot of people will look at him and see a prosthetic leg and think, all right, I don't have a prosthetic leg. I don't have anything in common with this kid. But watching the show, they realize he's a 12-year-old, just like they are or they were, stumbling his way through middle school, fights with his friends, parents, etc., who also happens to have a prosthetic leg. So to me, it was that universality of the story that really uh, was incredibly appealing, along with all the really funny things that yeah. real life Josh did growing up because he had a prosthetic leg. I absolutely know who Josh is, the real Josh. And that's why I, I'm saving these questions for you, my friend. I think um, so. First but of I mean, all, thanks for knowing who I am. <laughs> I absolutely know who you are, dude. The skiing, everything. I, yeah. I, I absolutely do know. So what is it like to see your story played out like this? Um, and then we'll talk about the books in a minute, you know, for you to sit down and tell your story, if it was therapeutic for you, but, but what is it like, we'll start there, what is it like for you to see your life basically played out like this? Yeah, it's, it is really wild, you know, to, to literally be on a set and, and literally watching Logan doing things that I did on my first day of school. Like in the pilot, Josh walks down the hallway and says hi to everyone by name because he's memorized everyone's name in the yearbook. I really did that, right? And to like watch him be like, oh man, that was really weird. That was a really weird choice that I made and now I see it now that it's being acted out for me. Uh, but but to, yeah, to be able to, uh, to, watch, to watch my life um, uh, unfold that way, but, but more importantly, to be able to share these stories from my life with uh, such a, a, a much wider and larger audience than I ever have before is uh, an incredible honor. When you set out to write your stories down, uh, was it therapeutic for you? What was it? Was it how? What it, what prompted you to do that? Yeah, you know, I've always I've always been a storyteller, and I've always enjoyed writing and, and writing and sharing stories. And I think that yeah, there is a sense in which writing true stories, writing a memoir, is therapeutic, um, not just in the act of expression, but in the idea that these potentially negative or difficult things have happened to me, and by um, turning them into a story that is meaningful for other people. There's almost an alchemy that turns like maybe a, a challenge or a negative circumstance into something positive because it is something meaningful to other people, especially for me personally, if it's something that they can find funny. 
Logan, what do your friends and family think about you? I mean, honestly, again, you're so talented. Uh, I, I'm just, I don't believe this is your screen debut. I just feel like <laughs> you've been acting secretly because you're very, very good at what you do. And I know Matt and, and, and Josh agree with me on that one. But what do your friends think about you, uh, you know, being a part of this? This is a big deal. Um, what do my friends and family think? Well, uh, some of my friends, they're like super intrigued by it and they just, they, they just think it's awesome. And I think everybody thinks it's awesome because it really is just crazy and uh, amazing. But I think a lot of them are like really um, amazed and intrigued by it because it, it really is, like I said, amazing. And uh, they all just think it's like a great way to spread awareness. Like I think it's a great way to spread awareness. And yeah, I'd say that they're all just proud of me, I guess, and just really excited to see it. The first day that you met Logan, <laughs> he's so cool. Uh, what, 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 what were you, what were you, tell me about that first day when, when you met. Uh, well, I, you know, I didn't, <laughs> it's that thing where like, I didn't want to like let him down, you know, like I didn't want to be like less cool than he was, <laughs> like he'd followed me on Instagram, he probably thought I was like cool and funny, which Not it's yet. very easy to appear that way online. It's much harder to put to to fool people into thinking that about you in real life. No, you were you were just as cool. <laughs> Thanks, Logan. Uh, <laughs> I pay him to say that. Um, but no, yeah, it was. But it was it was immediately clear to me, um, yeah, why he was such a good choice for the series. In 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 that how similar we are, I think, personality wise and outlook wise. Um, and the way even that we approach tasks, you know, like Logan is a great athlete um, and I think part of what makes him a great actor is the same things that make him a great athlete, which is that uh, acting is, is a lot about um, discipline and work uh, and effort in a way that I think people don't appreciate until they've tried it. Gentlemen, thank you for your time today. It truly was an honor and pleasure speaking with you all. Well, great job, seriously. Uh, Logan, I will probably talk to you in another role because, dude, you're going to... I see bright things in your future, so <laughs> be you. proud. Take care. Thanks, Thanks guys. I really Thank appreciate you. it.